Hey guys, welcome to TechTrix tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about how to withdraw money from Binance, Binance to PayPal or a bank account. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. Let's start first on what is Binance. So just a quick overview, Binance is an online platform where you can buy and sell and trade cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and many others. So it's like a digital marketplace for cryptocurrencies. This allows you to exchange one cryptocurrency for another or convert them into traditional currencies like dollars or euros. Binance also offers a various services and features related to cryptocurrencies, making it one of the largest and most popular cryptocurrencies exchanges in the world. So, it is trade on the go, anywhere and anytime. Now, let's head over to the platform that we're going to use in here, which is PayPal as well. So, why are people using PayPal to cash out from Binance? So, they use it for several reasons. Firstly, PayPal is widely accepted and accessible in many countries, making it a convenient option for a broad range of users. It's also user-friendly interface and the ability to link it to the bank accounts or cards provide convenience and flexibility. And additionally, PayPal is commonly accepted by online retailers, allowing users to shop directly from their PayPal funds. So security is also a significant factor, with PayPal employing strong encryption and fraud protection measures to safeguard users' financial information. Speed is an also another advantage. As PayPal transactions are typically quick, users can access their funds promptly. Furthermore, PayPal's international transaction capabilities are very beneficial for those dealing with parties in different countries. And the availability also of a mobile app makes it easy for users to manage their funds on the go. But for this video, we're going to be using website. So let's head to the Binance website. So the first step for this is you should log into your Binance account. And for you to be able to do that, you'll need to head on Binance website and enter your credentials to access your account. So for an easier access, you can join Binance now by signing up with the link provided in the description box below. And you could claim up to 200 USDT limited time trading fee credit reward. So you could head onto the description box below and click onto that link if you want that reward. Now, right after clicking onto the link in the description box below, you should be able to see the screen wherein it asks you to create a personal account. So you could add in your email or your phone number in here, or you could also add in a referral ID, which is an optional. So you could just simply click onto this drop down and just click on this chat box so that you could agree to the Binance terms of service and the privacy policy. So you could click onto next right after. And if you're not looking for a personal account, you could sign up for an entity account. And also, since we're using PayPal in here for cashing out, you need to have your own PayPal account as well for this. So you'll need to head onto PayPal.com or onto PayPal's website, and you should be able to see here onto the top screen, the login button and sign up button. So if you still don't have an account yet, simply click on to sign up. Then right after, you should be able to see the screen wherein it asks you to join PayPal today for free. So you have two options which is personal account, you can shop online for millions of global sellers, send and receive payments globally, shop with confidence with buyer protection, or a business account wherein you could send and receive payments under a business name, 24-7 online fraud monitoring and seller protection, and no setup monthly or hidden fees. So let's just simply click onto personal account in here. Then you could also click onto this one if you're an online shopper individual seller or freelancer both of them above and i'm not sure so you just need to simply click the option and then click onto next and then it's time to add in your email so you could choose your country up here onto the upper part and you could just write in your email in here click onto next so that you could also add in your complete the sign up process so once you have finished the sign up process for paypal just simply click on the login to head onto your paypal account so that you should be able to finish all of the things that are needed to be done for that then let's head back to the binance account in here since we've gone ahead and registered earlier it's time to log in so you have two options in here you could log in using google or apple or you could also log in using the email that you have provided earlier there is also an option for you 
to log in using the QR code. You'll just need to scan this code with the Binance mobile app to log in instantly. And since I use my Google account onto registering, I'll just need to click on to continue with Google and you could also choose your preferred login option. Now, once you're logged in, you'll be redirected onto Binance dashboard. Now here onto the dashboard, right after logging in, you should be able to see your account settings in here and different options also onto the upper part. So you have the search bar in here, the deposit button, your account settings, and the wallet icon. So this is what you'll need to locate, the wallet icon. So you'll just need to simply click onto that and then right after, we'll need to find the fiat and spot from the drop down menu. So we could see this one in here, we'll just need to simply click onto it. Then right after, you should be redirected onto this page in here, which is the fiat and spot. So we have this pop-up screen in here saying that we need to fund a wallet. So Binance supports multiple options to fund your account, so you can find a method that suits you best. So you could click on to buy in here to buy a crypto. So this is hassle free and suggested for new users. We also have your crypto deposit wherein you could conveniently deposit crypto from another account to your Binance account and also receive crypto via Binance Pay wherein you could receive crypto via Binance Pay ID or QR code from other Binance users instantly and with zero fee. So let's just head back here onto Fiat and Spot page. So here onto the upper part, you could see the deposit, withdraw, send, transfer, and transaction history. You'd also see your estimated balance in here and the PNL. So you could choose 30 day or cumulative. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see also the pop up screen that we've seen earlier onto the guides on how to fund your wallet. So you could just skip onto that if you have a balance already onto your account. Now, here onto the bottom part, you should be able to search for the coins in here so that it would be easier for you to find it. You could also hide in the small balances that you have and you could convert small balance to BNB and you could also auto invest. So you could see the different cryptocurrencies in here. So you could just simply click onto the one that you want to withdraw. And then right after, you should be able to see here onto the action to buy, deposit, convert, trade, and withdraw. So just simply click onto withdraw if ever. So just for example, we want to withdraw the euro. So we'll just click onto withdraw in here. Then right after, you should be redirected onto this page, which is withdraw file. So you need to select the currency. So we have already chosen Euro already earlier, but if you want to choose more, you'll just simply click onto this drop down in here and you'll see the different currencies that it offers and your total balance as well. Then right after, you could also see the withdrawal too we're in the recommended and other payments so if you opt to have this transferred onto your bank account you should be able to see the different options already in here like the bank transfer and bank card visa but if you want to withdraw it to paypal you'll just click onto these other payments in here and you should be able to see the different options that it offers so if you click onto the recommended in here and choose the bank transfer you'll just need to click onto continue but if you opt for paypal simply click onto paypal so let's try first to switch our currency in here since for the currency that we've chosen earlier those are the different withdrawal options that it recommends so we'll try usd in here and try to see what it will give us so as you can see it have the p2p express and the bank transfer but as of the moment the channel is currently closed for maintenance so since this is still under maintenance so i'll just give you an overview on what will happen next right after clicking onto this you should be able to enter your bank account details including your account holder's name bank name branch name account number and the swift vic code and if you're using paypal you'll need to enter your paypal email address for that so right after you could specify the amount that you want to withdraw and then you'll need to review all the withdrawal details one last time to make sure they're accurate and once satisfied you'll just need to click on confirm to proceed then after completing the security verification you shall receive a confirmation message that your withdrawal request has been submitted so it may take some time for binance to process your request so please be patient and you should be able to see it onto your recent withdrawals so keep an eye on your PayPal or bank account since once Binance processes your withdrawal, the funds will be transferred to your chosen account. So this time, it takes for the funds to appear in your account can vary depending on your bank or PayPal. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide on how to withdraw money from Binance to either your PayPal account or bank account. So if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more cryptocurrency related tutorials. If you have any question, just comment it down below. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on to our next video.